But if nobody comes, we could like clear away all the, the chairs and just make a little circle. Oh, right. we, we should just kind of like. I mean, it. we really don't need all these chairs, I don't think. We could dance. We could dance. We could just we dance. Could dance. Great. I like we dance. dance. We could yeah. just I'll dance. dance. We could play video games, watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're singing. Oh, I okay. can't hear. There you go. Okay. Wait, All right. Cool. That's it. Mom says. So, uh, how is this? Um, how is the sound, people who are yeah. watching online? Two blocks from my cousin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nice. going for it. I was gonna just be so disappointed. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure that it's using the room. Oh, it is. Good. Yay! I think last time we had a house concert, we broke everybody's ears in the other end. You can pick your friends, but you can't pick your friends. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't spend any, like, holidays? She's like, yeah, this is bad now. <laughs> uh, they, 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 I, my son doesn't even know his kids. Oh, Let's wow. put it that way. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. And his sister, she's another, she's another bird. <clears throat> Crazy. Oh, wow. Yep. It's too bad. Yep. It'll be too bad. Yeah. It's too bad because we're, I lost my we're a nice little family. Yeah. You seem nice, Diana. Juice. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> really juice. I don't drink a really nice. Day. I wouldn't drink that much. My kid's a sweetheart. Yeah. Juice. Yeah, Jimmy's gonna teach you. I'm not in the 2000s. Oh, oh, uh, I think I do now said that. Yeah? What's that? I'm not sure about 30s. Nothing. All right, I think the sound is going. We have 24 people. It's loudish. Okay. Well, it'll be loudish right here because my face is near the microphone. But. Kepernan on deck, Woo. and we have Monica Rizzio. There's a hundred people here, you wouldn't know. But, um, oh. Yeah, you're gonna really. <laughs> Although, to be fair, nobody on the internet is clapping, as far as I can tell. Oh, oh, oh no, they comment. <laughs> a few things and then we'll get my up here. You have brought a lot of joy to my life that I love. Now you have got a broken heart to what? What can I give you? Make it feel older, but I do. You've got 10,000 days. This is gonna blow over. The ones we 
love become undone in you. We step by your bedside when midnight rise to strive the heartache home where the lights of your life sleep sound. Sound of your speakers drowns out the drone of doubt and exposes your weakness when your children love you. Emotions and love sustains the weight of pain and air. It's no resolution, the signature of time has accidental. So sing out the song inside. Instrumental when your children love you. Well, they know who he is. Hi. <laughs> they can tell from his butt. <laughs> My ears are just a little distracted today, so I need to pull out the phone charger. Hello, Club Smoochers. Welcome to our humble abode. Thank you for joining us here. Um, any messages? Podcat says Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. Podcat is a great name. Uh, Carlos says hello. Uh, your mom says hello, even though she's right over there in the room. <laughs> now I'm like distracted by your stories. and I'm, like, Karate Joe says, tell them 100 people not to be so loud. Okay. You gotta be here yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Kat is filling people in on the details of Duncan's age and stuff. Okay. Um, These are all great. Oh, and his likes and uh, how he likes to cuddle. Oh, I know. I switched my tuning app, but it's got a different icon and I forgot. Uh, Bitey Bite says, thanks for having us, Sarah. Sorry says, we have folks from Spain, France, and the UK tonight. Wait, isn't it like 
And the morning too. Something? I don't even and end. Oh, the wife. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is there And the sound is everything's good. All right. Here yeah, is the sound good? I'm sitting here in front of chat. You can tell me if the sound needs to go up or down or whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, they're I'm right next to the microphone. They can probably hear me loud and clear. Somebody would have complained about it Guess Just like most nights. Which one? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is true. This is true. Okay. Um, but this was a uh, this was a, a very belated apology um, from something that happened when I was thirteen. I think I was thirteen, and you were probably nine, eight, or nine, something like that. If you were thirteen, I was four years younger. So 
I just did math. Tell us a story. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, so the story goes. Have your parents heard this one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, do you not know? Well, you, I guess I don't know what I'm about to do. No. So, so the story with this one goes was um, uh, I was doing my homework at the table like a studious young Sarah Donner. And Rachel was doing something to annoy me or aggravate me, like tapping on the table or something. Like the younger sister. Which is, yeah, <laughs> she's the younger sister. And I was like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And she wouldn't stop it. And um, I was in charge because I was babysitting. So, um, of course, that me, gives me like carte blanche just to dict the dictator over like the living room and the kitchen. And, uh, and I was like, you need to leave right now. And she wouldn't leave. And so... I went over to drag her chair into the other room and she put her, I went to push her in the other room and she took her feet a la Anne of Green Gables and <laughs> put them around the edge of the, of the chair and locked herself on there so that the only way that I could move her was to take the entire chair and go ur, 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 into the other room. So I dragged her into it and put her in the other room and uh, she was so mad at me and I shut the door that was in between that she punched through the glass door um, in anger and frustration. And then I was like, Ooh, you're going to get in trouble. Well, this <laughs> and she did. Um, <laughs> but I kind of felt bad about it because I kind of escalated it a little bit. Then I probably, I could have maybe not have done that. Um, and then I felt bad and I snuck her popcorn under the door after she gets sent to bed with no dinner. So oh, that's we did. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, well, confessions this evening. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, it's called Signal. You woke up, broke feet to ask me what to read. But it's your life. It's your Gas. Um, 
you all know this. Um, also, <laughs> someone on chat was asking, maybe it was Winnie and Gary's dad, I'm not oh, sure, yeah. was asking if Monica and Mike have Venmos, or what's what's the deal with the oh, donations you, online? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Which they had a button. They, I thought they were gonna have a button at some point to donate things. Anyways, I know it, um, it's harder not to have. Do a you have a, a Venmo? No. Yeah. All right. So to make it simple, I did put Monica's Venmo on there. If you want to throw money, also if you throw, why don't you just throw it all into the general pile? It says donate because we lived ten years ago, I guess online. <laughs> um, but all of that money what will. Else? What do you do now? Instead of as it usually does. Uh, going towards the kittens, it will go towards the artists who are playing tonight. So please go to sarahdonner.com, hit the donate button. The rest of you put your wallets right in here, phones, uh, Apple watches. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be back in a little bit. Who's going first? Oh, Monica? Mike's going. Mike. Oh, oh, I don't know, unless they had a fight. I don't know. <laughs> Mike Heffernan is coming up next. Okay. <laughs> Hey, what? Yeah, that was oh, great. oh, thank you. I never knew that song was about her. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, oh. I mean, it's you obviously song, but <laughs> I never quite got it. Kids are always doing something. You know. Oh, yeah, they were. They did. They sure did. Oh, I didn't know the backstory about the popcorn. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh. So, what's the age difference? I'm going to start with four years. Boy, oh, man, that made all that difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was spicy though. Yeah. yeah. But she was also me. Yes. Yeah. She was the boss. She was the boss. Yeah. Kids. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. Oh, she was in first grade. Her teacher wrote me a note saying she's trying to take over my class. She needs to <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I put a camera on you? No, no. Not not good. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, I should have brought two of them. You should have. One for her and one for you. That's how I do it. It's hard to just have like a glass and have the two glasses. Right? Um, no long story. I'll turn on camera. I'm trying to just focus it on Duncan. I'm very sorry. <laughs> he likes one. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. You're okay. going to make them sick. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can they even hear me right now? They yeah, can. they can. They can? Yeah. Look, well, you mounted it on this thing, so it would not tilt downwards. It would only tilt sideways. So. Mm -hmm. Hi. It's your fault. <laughs> so since you're down the key, you know this dude? Surprise. Yeah, of course. That's me. Uh, it's Lydia's boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's yeah. his that's oh. his family. That's his and yeah. his boyfriend. Oh, yeah. And she had his baby. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if she's had yeah. a baby yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When did they have the baby? This, this mutes it, I think, right?
A strong social media presence. Oh, yeah, let me go. Yes, you do. Oh, that up. That's a bad I think the sound should be back yeah. on. Oh, they might want to see. The internet. It's a weird place. It's a weird place, man. Just don't want to be in Mark's sight. Just, it's funny that the 20 is phone. Yes, he face. Yeah, I know. I'm fixing that. I can see that. I've got it right here. Words, okay. the complete opposite because you live in the prison job. Well, it's just a lifestyle. Like, like welcome right. however many hundreds of people a day into our that, house. Is that cool? Do you approve <laughs> of the view? Oh, yes. Come yeah. down a little bit and more. You, like, really, yeah. you could make romantic yeah. eyes. At the 24 <laughs> people. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. We, we just have to be that. Top of it. I'm going to subscribe to your channel. Like, <laughs> you know, it's so um, also, if this is going to distract you. Oh, yeah, we don't need to move. Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. No, no offense to you. Okay, good. Uh, the sound is on. Yes. Okay, great. All right. Let's hear it for Mike Kaplan. <laughs> Tell us about him. <laughs> Me? Yeah, this is him. Well, <laughs> you supposed to say it has a I'm, I'm about to go through the long, drawn out story. Oh, okay. He's gonna say He's gonna do it. I hate this story. Long, yeah. Yeah, drawn out. <laughs> it was a cold night in November when Mr. and Mrs. Hefferman. Uh, uh, but thank you so much for coming out and supporting local music, all Woo! this and what. Sarah does is here is very cool. Monica coming from Cape Cod and driving. Um, it very much brings the local communities together, and that's a good thing. This time. All right. So these are some songs of mine. Stands in the moonlight, seems I'm riding the wings of the right time. Blue and gold are colors, they inspire the wings of a new song. Leave on evening as the dark and night stood still, the wind upon her heels, knowing she could use. That would sustain me alone. Once I stood by the water, seemed I'd entered a thousand years of darkness, knowing she was over yonder, changing the tides in the hands of another. Stood still the wind upon her hair, knowing she could bear a fruit that would sustain me evermore. It happens every season like a flower that's caressed by the sun.
Try to cover it up.
hands just to see, just to see. While you were gonna look just to see. I searched through open fields for a sign, for a sign. I searched through open fields for a sign. I walk through gardens cleansed with the rain, with the rain. While you were gone, I walk with the rain. On the way, you said it good, on the promises we tried. On the way, you looked out of the corner of your eyes. When you did not return, all was lost, all was lost. My faith stood there before. You tempt me with a fire when you call, when you call. But you are one before me. You are one before me. You are one before me. fascinations in my in my time growing up as since I was a kid I was like I was, was very much fascinated by mountains I was also always very much fascinated by alien abduction the possibility for alien abduction the possibility of UFOs being existing and uh, I spent you know when I started writing songs it was very very easy for me to write about lost love so I feel like I spent the majority of my 20s writing about lost love even conjuring up lost love if that wasn't occurring at the moment. And then I decided that my 30s was going to be about alien abduction. But I found that uh, I found that even if I was writing songs about alien abduction, somehow I would still write about lost love. And the interesting thing about that was with this next song, is that there was an alien abduction that occurred. And after a few days, the aliens were like, you know what, I think I'm actually all set with this guy. We're gonna bring him back. So, so that's what this one's about. Let's see how it goes. There's actually a mountain in this song as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Just... As you'll see. Okay. All right. One 
night I saw it coming A ship like a rainbow Blue's color shoes Take me See? 
trees with voices in the phone just carried by the wind remember when the children sang a song that appears tonight what happened Walk and slow, blinded to the sound. Rules and right to forget the night of angels all around. The feathers hit the ground. If you believe the singing trees, voices in the phone just carried by the wind. love songs, a couple of those songs I was talking about, but now we're going to go back to uh, Alien Objection, Let's see what happens, which has never happened to me, I mean, not that you know, <laughs> when I bring this up to people, they invariably ask that, you know, they ask if it's happened, if it's occurred, and how I can speak on such a, you know, with such an expertise on it, <laughs> it has not. <laughs> okay. They 
it's all around you. It's all around me too. Watching my father's riding in capsules across the sky. Thank 
brings to life someone waiting in the wings. And if before it begins, silver is the city. some old tunes and thought that I'd give them a shot and I procrastinated on practicing them but I'm surprised that I've been able to make it through all right with the lyrics. Oh, thanks. Oh, you guys are one of the best audiences. <laughs> Seriously. Okay.
could do the thing about yeah, that. I don't think you could. Oh. You let me know how many songs you want. No, no, that's what I, no, that was your look. No, go. Just go. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. Look, you don't need to see behind the curtain. I don't want to be a broken record. I don't want to be a broken record because it's between love songs and alien abductions, and they just keep going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much it. We were trying to read your body language. That's that's all that to do. Like, like <laughs> hey, everyone, we'll be back in five. Well, I mean, that, that was all that was going on. I wasn't okay. trying to tell you. Well, this is this is this is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. This is really cool. Thanks. <laughs> G-F-F-E-R-N-A-N. And I have a Bandcamp page with some recordings and a SoundCloud page as well. And a Facebook page. I have to be more on top of the social media thing. But that I'll get to that. 
That's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> you guys are the best, man. No, she does she's the best. Them. She's like the she best. does stuff that people think I do. Yeah, nobody thinks that I make tables or right. Um, <laughs> All right, this is a this is a song I loved when I was a kid growing up, and um, I always thought this was like one of the most beautiful songs I've ever written. It's a Neil Young song. Sometimes I think that I know what love's all about And when I see the light I know You can donate at the saranata.com website and proceeds this evening until midnight will be distributed financially to all those who deserve it. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back. I am muting the cam. So swear up a lot.
Is that a donut? That should do it. Wait, who? Oh. I caught you, Diana. Did you get your strawberry? There I haven't jelly. gotten my donut yet, yeah, but I'm out with jelly in there. Okay, thank you. I have way too much sugar. Tonight. I'm going to sweat it out tomorrow in hot yoga. This is romantic too, now. Right? Oh, it's so, so romantic. Um, well, the sound is favor, so she won't have all great. They want to know. Can y'all hear us? Oh. You can, yeah. They can hear me. They can hear us. Some smart ass just said, uh, Are you related to Rizzo the rat? <laughs> Don't tell anybody, bro. Don't tell no one. Did you see Diana? The cat turned around to watch the show. <laughs> wow. He's in love with you. He I mean, absolutely. He I you. have a brand new fan. <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> Duncan! Well, thank you all so much for coming out, and thank you to um, Miss Donner. Thank you so oh, much. Um, it's always so great to, uh, to get to hear a new artist, and... Um, I loved what Mike did, and I loved what Sarah did. It was so opposites and so different, but that's the beauty of it. So um, I'm going to tonight primarily play through um, a lot of original music. Um, might throw in a cover here or there. Um, I just released my latest record called Sunshine is Free in October, so I'm going to play um, some songs of that. I'm going to start with the song that, uh, that I wrote um, called Hard to Love.
should have shut my mouth But you love me wrong Got a dagger in my heart That'll never go away Well, a few years ago Actually, more than a few years ago, I can't even believe it, but um, 2012, I got married. And uh, I know, right? Marriage is good. And when we got married, we uh, thought it'd be a grand idea to go move in with the in-laws. And so we did that. And um, it, was, it was fantastic. I didn't have to cook dinner for like a good year. But other than that... Um, we decided to move in there to save some money to buy a house. And so we were we were there for about nine months or so. Um, but the year that we moved in was, I don't know if y'all remember this, but like every Wednesday for like five weeks in a row, there were really bad nor'easterns, like blizzard. I mean, like it felt like blizzard yeah, conditions. Yeah, yeah. Um, so much so that we got stuck inside as a family together for four days. Oof. And um, I mean, that sounds great. It was, it was, you know, Manhattans were rolling around and uh, Patron was on the table, so we were all good. But it was um, interesting because, and I just remember like, you know, sitting in the living room with the, um, we had like the wood fire stove uh, on and um, I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay. You know, just trying to think of like some of my favorite songwriters of all time, and Willie Nelson's my all-time favorite. I grew up in Texas; it's just kind of in in the water down there. It's like what you grew up listening to, and so um, I asked myself, like, what would Willie Nelson be doing if he was stuck inside with his in-laws? So that's what I did, man. <laughs> we smoked a little bit, we drank a little bit, and uh, I wrote this song. <laughs> this one's called Willie Nelson. Harmony with you Jumping 
down to Austin, singing on that long to see the sky. On the road again, just can't wait to get on. song into the Grassy Hill songwriting competition and uh, won first place last year. So when I'm not like playing shows and touring, I um, I own a music school on the Cape uh, called West Bend Music and I feel like I have the best job in the world that every day um, I get to teach fantastic people, you know, of all ages from little kids to teenagers to like five girls between the ages of like nine and 18 asked to learn the exact same song. And so I said, all right, I was like, okay, let's, we'll do this. This will be fun. And, um, I had never heard of the artist before. Um, but I assumed that her dad was Billy Ray Cyrus. And, um, according to some of the younger students, Miley Cyrus was her sister. Um, so I'm going to sing y'all a Noah Cyrus cover song um, called July. Here we go. I feel like doing a Cyrus song. Yes, that's why I say the same. 
for all y'all out there um so oftentimes you know people ask like do you have any regrets in life you know and um of course the answer is no we have no regrets but i think if there's one thing that would be really cool to do would be if we could go back and give ourselves one piece of advice like our younger self right like just like practice more guitar or, you know, um, read more books or whatever it is. Be nicer to yourself. Um, so when I was writing my record, um, I wrote most of my record in Nashville, Tennessee, and we recorded it down there. And um, I was in a writing session with my producer and uh, another songwriter. And um, we just thought this would be such a great idea to, um, to write, write this song about giving yourself a little pep talk. This one's called My Sweetheart. To the rush, and there was no gold. Put a lot of pennies in the wish and well. Has it made a difference, or as you can tell? How many times we be broken? Worry, my friends.
Sarah, can I actually borrow one of your ukuleles? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Any, um, anyone? Oh, I mean, this is, that's a that normal. Is that too normal? That's like, normal. not normal tuning, but you know what I mean. It's okay. okay. It's right here. No, no, the next one. This little one here? That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, the other one's a baritone. Oh, the, gotcha. Okay. Um, so a few years ago, um, I was asked um, to open for Diana Krall, who's, yeah, who I um, was a huge fan of since I was, you know, younger, and especially in college, I did, I sang a lot of jazz stuff, um, so it was really wild to, uh, to get the opportunity to open up for her. Um, so we were uh, kind of warming up in the green room, green room or whatnot, and, um, you know, I guess she had she had heard my guitar player and I warming up, and um, we got a knock on the door from her management, and they said Miss Crawl would like to see you in her dressing room, and all I thought was great, like I was too loud or something, you know, because they're always like they're always um, very. Uh, a lot of times the venues won't be scared to say, don't bother the, the main act or like, you know, don't go near their dressing room. Don't ask them any questions. So um, I thought I did something wrong and um, she invited me in and we chatted and she said, I love that song that you were singing in your, in the dressing room. I overheard it. And she said, do you think you'll sing that one tonight? And I said, well, I wasn't planning on it, but of course, yeah, I'll do it. So um, this is a song that, I don't know if y'all know, but Willie Nelson came out with like a jazz record years ago and um, he put the song on the record and uh, it's been one of my all time favorites. It's called um, Blue Skies. So I want to sing that one for y'all tonight. Do y'all like old songs? Yes. A little bit? Okay. I'll do an I'll do an old one. Um I think this 
Well, I was looking at the back row, y'all, because yeah, they were singing that song. Who wants to hear that song? Right. Victoria Bach, she's a ukulele player. Um, you know Victoria? Ah, she can play mouth trumpet like no one's business. It's just insane. Um, I can barely whistle. She was like a world record mouth Oh yeah, she was on Jay. She was on Jay Leno or something crazy like that. Yeah. She was also like sponsored by the ukulele. Yeah. She was like one of the first chicks to do ukulele. Yeah. Yeah. She's got these really great underwear really called You Can't Look. Touch This. <laughs> <laughs> I had them there. I had them in all different colors. They were yeah. awesome. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I want to play for you all my um, title track of my brand new record, which I have available for sale. And for those of you who are watching virtually, you can donate it. Venmo. You can Venmo me. I will mail you a copy. Or you can visit my website. Um, so we're going to split the room up. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to split the room up a little bit. So we're going to have like different little parts here, okay? So we're going to put you all together, and you're going to kind of tap your tap your feet. Yeah. And we'll have mom and dad back there clap their hands, right? And then the rest of you guys are going to snap your fingers. You have the hardest job because your fingers get really tired. But... If y'all want to keep going like that, yeah. Um, so we're going to multitask a little bit. We're going to do our parts, and we're going to sing, okay? So we're going to sing. Anytime I say this one line, y'all are going to repeat back, okay? So we're going to try it. Okay, so repeat after me. Sunshine is free. 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 Sunshine is free.
one's called Sunday. songs for y'all tonight. Um, and thank you again to Sarah and Michael and all of y'all for coming. Um, I'd like to play for y'all a, uh, a country waltz that I wrote. And um, this one is inspired by uh, a bunch of uh, friends at an Irish pub. I walked in one evening to um, this, our little watering hole, and um, it may have been around like midnight. I think I was coming back from like a show off Cape, and I popped in, and uh, there were all these guys sitting at the bar drinking Red Breast or Jameson, some Irish whiskey. And um, it just like gave me a great title for a song, which was Don't Keep Me Up Waiting. I was thinking about what all of their Wives were thinking, like, it's midnight. You should be home in bed. But you're drinking with your friends. So um, this one's called Don't Keep Pointing. Tell me you want me. Act like you don't care. Keep on 
attending We're getting somewhere Been having some hard times Gonna show you the door Monica Rizzio, and um, thank you all for listening and for coming out tonight, and thank you again to Sarah for um, putting this on, and thank you all for watching from wherever you are. Again, Mike Heffernan, everybody, Woo! Sarah Donner. So I want to end um, the evening with um, a little autobiographical song. So I grew up in East Texas. Um, the Bible Belt of the United States. And um, my dad grew up in uh, in New York, and my mom was a Navy brat, so she kind of lived everywhere. But I spent the majority of my life in East Texas and um, moved to New York when I was 17, my senior year of high school. And uh, I had the thickest accent. I was as cowgirl as it can get. And... Um, I just remember um, the first day of school, like getting to this brand new school and um, it was September when we started. And I remember in, in Texas, um, September 15th was like a big day because everyone would go to the, the flagpole and bring me the flag. <laughs> so um, I remember like being the new girl in school and, uh, asking all 
like all the my new friends that I was hanging out with, I was like, are, are y'all going to prayer pole today at, at lunch? And they looked at me like, what are you talking? This one girl's like, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. No. And I was like, okay. You know, it, it was just like so foreign to me because it was something that was like so in our culture growing up. Like we went to church all the time. And um, it was just something to really get used to when I moved up to the East Coast. I was brought up a certain way and everybody around me thought that way. And it took me many years to grapple with things that um, maybe I don't agree with that I did when I was younger. Um, and so it was um, when I was writing for my very first record, Watch the Shore Cowgirl, I um, wanted people to know where I came from and to know that I was this East Texas girl who grew up barrel racing on a ranch and um, going to church five days a week. And uh, um, so this is my journey from how a girl from East Texas wound up to the salty shores of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and got coins, the Wash Ashore Cowgirl. <laughs> well, you drink your scotch and you act real funny. All the work, spend all my money. and listening and not talking while the performers sing. Okay, bye. <laughs>